हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल टुडेज क्वेश्चन इज लॉन्गेस्ट कॉमन सब्सिक्वेंस इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग वी सोल अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस चैनल एंड दैट कैन डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू विद योर इंटरव्यू द क्वेश्चन सेज यू आर गिवन विद टू स्ट्रिंग्स टेक्स वन एंड टेक्स टू रिटर्न द लेंथ ऑफ द लॉन्गेस्ट कॉमन सब्सिक्वेंस अ सब्सिक्वेंस ऑफ अ स्ट्रिंग इज अ न्यू स्ट्रिंग जनरेटेड फ्रॉम द ओरिजिनल स्ट्रिंग with some character and it can be none deleted without changing the relative order of the remaining characters and we are given with an example that ac is a subsequence of a b c d e while a e c is not why because a e c is not in the relative order a common subsequence of two string is a subsequence that is common to both strings and If there is no common subsequence, written zero. We are going with example. Example number one. We are going with the text one and text two. A B C D E and A C E. We have A, we have C, and we have E, and in the same order. So the answer will be three. If you look at example number two, we have A, we have B, we have C, and these are in the same order. So the answer will be three. and if you look at example number 3 we don't have a we don't have b and we don't have c so the output will be zero let's move on to pen and paper let's see how we can solve this question after that we will see the code i have taken the example given in the question and if i ask you that hey just look at it and just tell me what is the what is the longest common subsequence the answer will be simply and if i ask you that hey could you explain me how did you get 3 then the simplest way will be that i started with 0 i looked for a i got a in both of them i increased my value i come to b i looked for b in both of them and we don't have b in the second one so my longest common subsequence number will remain 1 i come to c i look for c in the second string i have c so the my length of longest common subsequence became 2 i came to d i look the d in the second string and I, and i don't have d so my length of common subsequence remain 2 i come to e i look for e in the second string i have e what i will do i will add 1 to my longest common subsequence length that means 3 and my answer will be 3 this is what we just need to implement as we have two strings and we need to compare the character from both of them so we need a matrix which will store my longest common subsequence and how that matrix will work so i will make a matrix i have a b c d e and a c e and as we done here before comparing what was the longest common subsequence length that is zero why initially we are matching two empty substrings so we have empty substrings here and no matter what to which character i match my empty string the answer will remain zero so i can simply fill zero here and here because if i compare empty string with a it will be zero empty string with b it will be zero empty string with c that will be zero same with d and e and same goes this side and now we come to a and a we see a and a are matching so what we will do whatsoever we have initially means zero that means here i will add 1 to that so i will add 0 plus 1 so it will become 1 i came here i compared a and b we are not matching and if i say that hey 
we have a string a b and a what is the answer for this that's one and same goes here if you have a and a b at the end our longest common subsequence length will be one and how we are getting that we are comparing this element and this element whosoever is maximum we are taking that same goes with a and c it's not matching so i will take one and how i'm taking that i'm taking the maximum of these two elements and if i say what i'm checking i'm checking the previous row and the previous column and what is the maximum from them i'm taking that so again it will one again it will one i come to c i compared c and a that's not matching again what i will do i will compare these two and and i will get one again c and b i'll compare these two and whichever is maximum i will take that that will be one so what is the formula for this whenever we are not matching maximum of my grid i and j plus 1 and grid i plus 1 j so simply what i'm checking i'm checking the previous row and the previous column whatsoever is the maximum i'm taking that so same goes on i come to c and c both are matching so what we will do we will go to the previous element and what i mean by previous to the strings before that if i reduce c and c from here what was the solution for that that was one and i'm again getting a match so what i will simply do i will add one to my previous and how i can get that i can get that from previous diagonal and that will be 1 plus 1 so that will become 2 and what will be the code for this whenever we have two matching characters then grid i plus 1 and grid j plus 1 will be equal to grid i j plus 1 what's our value we have in the diagonal and again c and d are not matching i will take the maximum of these two element that is 2 c and d are not matching i will take maximum of these two that is 2 again same goes on with e i will take one here one here two here two here and again c and c are matching so again what was the solution for here and if i add e and e here i'll simply add one so i will add this one and i got 3 and at the end i will return the last element i will simply return grid minus 1 minus 1 so this is how we can solve this question let's move on to the coding part and let's see what is the code for this problem so let's see the code if you see at line number 3 i made two variable n and m that will contain the length of first string and the second string at line number 4 i'm making a grid by name of dp and i'm storing zero and the length of the string is m plus 1 and the width is n plus 1 and i take the for loop for i in range n and for j in range m if x i is equal to x 2 j and what i'm doing the next diagonal will be plus 1 of the previous diagonal else if it's not matching i'm taking the maximum of previous row and the previous column and at the end i'm simply returning the last cell of the grid by minus 1 and minus 1 so let's see whether it works or not so here i submitted my code and it got accepted so this was the code for this problem if this video was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up thank you so much guys for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe